Okay, let's see if I can do this one-handed. I use this teacup as a measuring tool. And I pour beans in up to a certain line. And you can see these are the roasted coffee beans whole. And I pour them in here in the top of this thing. This is the commercial coffee grinder that Barb and I bought on eBay. And now what I'm left with is, let's see if I can turn this on, ground up coffee in the bottom. See? And then I will put the beans back in the freezer. And I'll turn off the flame, wait a couple seconds, and then pour the boiling water, 100 degrees Celsius, on top of the beans. Then I come over here and I set a timer. And then I stir up the coffee to get the beans that float wet. And then I wait five minutes and then we'll come back and continue. Alrighty then. Blue and lucky. And that beeping you hear is the timer. It's five minutes later. So now I give it one more stir. And I take this thing, which is the filter disc, and carefully put it in and push it down. Slowly push it down. And what happens is the coffee grounds are forced to the bottom underneath that sieve. The liquid is all on top. And when I pour it out, I notice I have coffee creamer in there already. When I pour it out, it's just liquid. And then, because you have to keep coffee pots clean, or else the coffee goes rancid, what's left goes rancid, and it makes it taste bad. And then I dump out the coffee grounds. And I put a little soap in from that little container, and I put the filter back in and run it up and down a couple of times to clear the coffee grounds out of the filter, and it sits there for a couple of hours, or until I come back, and then I rinse it off, and here I am. Wally Blue are always friends. Go me. Miley, Mitzi, and Molly for some reason is still upstairs. And that is how I make my coffee.